Amid growing popularity of plant-based meat, the industry here in South Korea has largely relied on imported ingredients. But a South Korean research team has developed a technology that will replace those ingredients using a domestic soybean variety called miso. Our Chung Woon-ju has a story. Plant-based meat substitutes are plant-based proteins that are similar in taste and texture to actual meat. Simply put, they are meat-free meat dishes. Such alternatives have started to attract consumer attention by not only imitating meat, but also embodying the flavor and texture of the real thing. According to Euromonitor, a market research company, the South Korean meat substitute market was worth 8 billion won in 2019, but has been growing steadily and surpassed 20 billion won, or roughly 15 million U.S. dollars, last year. Soy protein isolate from soybeans is a key ingredient in making meat substitutes. But until now, this could not be produced in South Korea, so manufacturers had to rely on imports. A South Korean research team, however, has recently developed a technology that may replace soy protein isolate by mixing starch, gluten, and flour made from a South Korean soybean variety called miso. Meat substitutes are usually made from soy protein isolate. This study is significant as we discovered we can make meat alternatives with South Korean soybeans that haven't gone through the protein separation process. The research team proved through testing that using local materials produces a softer texture than when using imported soy protein isolate. GMOs are also not detected in South Korean soybeans, increasing consumer safety. Through this research, we expect domestic soybeans to be used in a variety of processed food ingredients that will greatly contribute to improving the self-sufficiency rate of South Korean soybeans. The Rural Development Administration plans to continue developing soybean varieties suitable for meat alternatives and introduce new technology to the field. Jong Eun-ju, Arirang News.